ahead and review some examples focusing on nucleic acids and proteins. Write the complementary strand for a strand of DNA with the following sequence. All right, this shows the five prime end and the three prime end. And then it shows a sequence G, C, C, A, G, T, T, C, A, A, G for DNA. So this is the different nitrogenous bases. The first thing in a question like this is to remember that the two strands are anti-parallel. So right away, as part of the answer, you should always write in the three prime and the five prime, and they're going to be opposite because it's anti-parallel. So the strand is going to be anti-parallel and complementary. Remember that G forms three hydrogen bonds with C, and A forms two hydrogen bonds with T. So these are the ones that pair up. Therefore, when there's a G, it's going to pair up with a C. A C will pair up with a G, again with a G. Here I have an A, it pairs with T. G pairs with C. Two T's, these each pair with A. C pairs with G. A's pair with T. And finally, G and C. So the complementary strand is going to be 3 prime to 5 prime. The G's will be paired with C's. C's will be paired with G's. A and T go together, and T and A. So this is the complementary strand for this strand of DNA.